Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So today I'm here to teach you how to sew inside Clo 3 d It's very simple and the sewing tool can be a bit tricky if you don't really understand it at first, but once you get a hang of it, it's literally automatic. You you don't even think about it anymore. You just, you just sew your pieces together like, you know, like you would be sewing in real life. So one thing to keep in mind is you have to have a little bit of an understanding of how the clothes are made and put together. Obviously, in Inside Clo, some of the things that we have to apply when sewing manually don't really necessarily need to be made in digital form. So a few things are easier done in digital than are in manual version and I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna be able to do it after watching this video. So if you like this video, please just give it a like, comment down below what else you want to see in this channel, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and go listen to my podcast, Fashion Passport, and also I open the members uh, subscription here on YouTube so you can watch the uncut versions of the videos and also watch the videos the day before. And I'm thinking of having more exclusive videos there, maybe live streams, depending on how many members we have. I might start making live streams exclusive for members here on the channel. All the information is on the description box and let's just start this video then. Okay, so now we are inside Clo and you have the 3D window here and the 2D here and I have just a bomber jacket very simple I haven't checked this pattern yet so I don't know if it's actually fully correct but we're gonna go with it I'm just gonna show you how to sew it so right now if I simulate everything is just you know in pieces nothing is actually sewn together besides the zipper because I didn't delete the zipper but <laughs> The sewing tools are here on the 2D and also on the 3D. They do repeat, so they do the exact same thing. And obviously the 2D, you're gonna use it here and the 3D, you can use it in the 3D window. I do think it's easier just sewing on the 2D window. You can see it easier where everything starts and finishes and where things are supposed to like merge and sew together. You can do that on the 3D window, but I just think it's a lot easier doing it in the 2D. So up here you have edit tool, you know, for the sewing this one you actually just going to be able to select your sewing and either make it small or bigger if you need editing you don't need to actually delete the sewing and do it again you can just kind of drag it and stop where you need it with the edit tool this one is the segment sewing which the shortcut is n and you can also do multiple segment sewings at once and then below that you have the free sewing which is literally just freehand sewing and the shortcut is m and you can also do multiple freehand sewing all at once if you need and this one here is just the sewing check once we have the sewing I'll show you what that does so I'm going to start sewing the shoulders and you have to have a little bit of a knowledge here how the shoulders are supposed to be sewn together so you're gonna have this one and this one together and then this one and this one I'm going to use the segment sewing because with the segment sewing you're literally gonna be able to sew the shoulder clicking here and clicking here just two clicks and you'll be able to sew it what you have to keep in mind with a segment sewing is that it's going to sew from one point like the selection of it is from one point to another point if there's like like here on my sleeves there's there's a point here and there's also a point here so my segment is only up to here so it wouldn't sew the whole sleeve side because there's a point here and a point here so for this I would use the freehand sewing because I just think it makes it easier than having to to sew multiple smaller segments. So I'm just gonna start with the shoulder then, sewing this with this. One thing to keep in mind is the positioning of your sewing. To make it easier, Clo adds this tiny, tiny slash thing here on the line, which on sewing terms is the notch. So this notch and this notch need to align. If not, if you have it the other way around, let's just delete. So if I click here on the edit sewing, click on the sewing and delete, it goes away. If I do it the other way, let's say I have the notch on this side closer to the neck and on this side I have the notch closer to the sleeves. I have my sewing twisted. So up here, as you can see, is twisted. The lines are twisted and if I simulate the sewing doesn't work properly, it works twisted. If it's something that you're actually doing because you want to, if it's something intentional, it's fine. But 
if you're meant to do it right, you have to get the notches to align, okay? So you can see on the 3D window that now the lines are all straight. This notch and this notch are going to align once sewing. So for shoulders, for example, just keep in mind, oh, I hover your mouse closer to the neck, click, and on this side, hover closer to the neck again, click, and you can see the dotted lines here. They are straight. If they were meant to be twisted, the lines would be crossing the dotted lines. So now my shoulders are sewn. I can simulate and they go like that. Same thing with the side, everything perfect. I'm gonna do the same with the sides. So segment sewing, this side closer to the armhole, this side close to the armhole, and same thing with the other side. So all the dotted lines are straight, should work perfect, simulate that. Now for my sleeves. On the sides of the sleeves, I'm going to use the free sewing because I have multiple dots. I don't really want to delete the dots, I wanna just keep them there. And if you do delete them, it's just an extra step applying the free sewing you don't need that step free sewing you just select a point and another point a point and another point you can see here that the numbers of my sewing are very different so this sleeves actually do not work for the physical world if you're actually going to make this i would have to just fix this pattern because it's not correct. For digital world, it's fine. It's not something you're gonna be able to see in your 3D really. But repeating the same steps, my sleeves are mirrored. So what I did on the other one is already done on this one as well. So that's the free sewing. You literally select just point to point and it also gives you the notch you can see the notch being created there okay at the top and you can do whatever size you want it doesn't have to be the whole segment you can stop halfway if you need for example if you have skirts and the skirts have slits on the side you can stop halfway on the side of the skirt you don't need to go all the way down to the end of the segment now for a trickier thing if you want to sew the sleeves to you know the front and back there are two ways that you can do this. You can do one at a time. So you can do front first. I would select always under the arm because it's easier because this is the under the arm here on the sleeve. So select that point, go to the top on the shoulder and then do the same on the sleeves. And you can see that it gives you a dark blue dot. That's where the sewing would be exactly the same. You can see here that the lines match. 9.6, 9.6. And then you can do the same with the back. So that side and this side correspond. So under the arm, up to the shoulder, you could do the other way around as well, but from the arm to the shoulder. So that's one way you can sew the sleeves, just doing front and then the back separately. Or I'm gonna delete it. You can use the multiple one. So if you go here under free sewing, M -N -N. I don't really understand what the MN means to be fair but it just means that you, you can select multiple sewings at once. What am I gonna do now? I'm going to select the whole sleeves okay you can see now that it's actually a green line. Press enter and then on the same direction so I started with the front of the sleeve to the back I'm gonna do the sewing so from this point to the sleeves and then keeping in mind the direction of the sleeves from the shoulder down and then press enter again and that makes the sewing for the whole thing same thing we can do with the color so here i can select the color and then we'll select the same direction so yeah that's it and then here and click so you can see that it creates three different sewings or four or five it doesn't really matter but it creates all the different lines for you all the different sewings so the green that's the green blue with the blue and orange for the back so you don't need to exactly do it one by one you don't need to do the front with the front and the, this part with this part you can just do it all at once and you can see all the lines show on the 3d as well they are the same color so if you select the sewing here they are the exact same color as here okay i have a couple of those there that need sewing i'm just gonna they're so so small so here to somewhere along here same with this one and they need sewn together as well because I have them folded so the top and the bottom need sewn and here we go simulate 
So here, I don't really like the placement. I think it's too far away from the center. So I'm just gonna move the sewings here. With the edit tool for the sewing, I'm just gonna click and drag the sewing towards the mirror. If it's too small, sometimes it selects one of the points, but you most of the time you are able to select the whole sewing together, like, like that, because it's so tiny, I kind of have to be very zoomed in to be able to do it. That's all the sewing though. And the actual check sewing tool, if you click on it and up here you have this window that you can have the length difference which default is 0 0.197 inches and ratio 10% and what it says what it points out is the sewings are far far too different so as we already knew this here you can see it in red this sewing here is far too big the difference is half an inch which is a lot more than the 0 0.197 and the sides as well have a half an inch different. I would have to correct the pattern to make the sewings here align and not have this big of a difference between them. But that's all that the check does. It's just to let you know in a very quick way the sewings there are, you know, need adjusting, need a little bit of a work. But also keep in mind that, for example, if you have a big, big skirt sewn on a tiny tiny waist maybe like an elasticated waist or something like that this red will show up because it's going to be a very big segment sewn on a very small waist but that's that's what you want so just keep in mind if it's something that you want that's the design that's the effect that you're looking for just just ignore but for my design here this should be corrected i will make a separate video for the auto sewing so keep an eye for that okay so i hope this video was helpful <laughs> and and now you can sew everything that you need in clothes. If you like it, please give it a like, share, comment, and let me know what else you want to see here on the channel. And also go become a member if you want to see anchor versions and also exclusive live streams. You can see early access of the videos. For the member, it comes out on Saturday and for everyone else, it comes out on Sunday. So you can see the videos before everyone. Also go listen to my podcast, Fashion Passport, if you haven't already. I have a link it up below. It's on Spotify. Spotify and it's also here on YouTube if you want to go check the playlist and that's it for today I'll see you guys next Sunday bye